So it's so important that we make sure that we can do the right things every day and have that mindset. I can't afford to be sick even though I've made the most money ever. I have the most money in my bank I've ever had. I've, I've had great investments over the years. I have a profitable business. My mindset is I can't afford to be sick. All right, all right. Welcome, welcome to another episode of Mindset Mastery on a special time. My intention was to come in yesterday as well and uh, you know deliver on what I normally do on a Monday morning. And uh, you know the the goal is always just to put my mind back to where it needs to be, right? Which is I have a responsibility of making sure that I'm able to grow my business on a consistent basis. It's never about just staying at the status quo. It's about constantly pushing my mindset, my skill set, uh, and my abilities to get better and better, right? That's something that I learned early on in business. And, and being in this game for 18 years as an entrepreneur um, and owning multiple businesses, franchises, I realized that you know everything will always come on the way I approach things in life. You know, My approach, my intention, my attitude, and we, we talk a lot about attitude and intention, and I think we really need to put more emphasis on that because, you know, everything can, you know, come together in, in a great harmonious way or it can fall apart depending on how we feel. And oftentimes we don't realize that the way we feel is affected by many, many things, um, including the way we self-talk, what we say to ourselves. Uh, but another main component is what we put into our bodies, right, and how we're able to to also release the stress because if we constantly have this stress and we don't have a release mechanism, it's it's going to it's going to come out in the in 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 ways we don't necessarily will be proud of, right? If we just carry on this stress and we don't have a release mechanism, um, it's going to be released in ways where we may lose control, say things we don't want to say, lash out, um, have impatience, just. There's a multitude of things that it can actually um, uh, create for us. And that's why I, I feel like it's so important that we have this mindset of, you know, regardless of whatever comes my way, I'm going to figure things out. And, you know, 45 days into the new year, I think this is the time where we start assessing where we're at at this moment, um, assessing the way we're taking care of ourselves, assessing how we're, how we're approaching our, our home life, our marketing, uh, just everything, right? Everything that we thought about for the new year back in December when we put out our, our business planning meeting, uh, we, we were very clear about what we wanted to accomplish. But one thing that I realized is that uh, we often un overestimate what we can accomplish in certain timeframes, right? Some of you may be looking at your targets. And you're like, dude, how did I come up with this game plan? I'm, I'm still so far away. We're 45 days in, which means I only have 45 more days to hit my 90-day target. And how did I come up with this? Well, I think when we overestimate what, what we can accomplish, we underestimate life's obstacles, right? We underestimate life's obstacles. And what I mean by that is that we, we don't really put on our game plan that we or may get sick, that we may have issues at home in our marriage, right? Our relationships. There may be accidents. There may be unexpected costs. There may be legal issues that come up, IRS uh, problems, lawsuits, family drama, uh, or even we may even get stuck on our own thoughts of our past, right? Um, and we don't, we don't really uh, account for any of this. We just think that because we have a, a great, clear business plan that we just have to work towards that. Well, in reality, we have to work on that plus everything else that comes up along the way. So it's always important that we have the end goal in mind because there's going to be times where you're going to forget, where you're going to forget because you're involved in that illness, right? You're, you're, you're in the mix of that illness. We had one of our agents in the hospital, right? And, and he didn't account for this. He still has all these plans and he didn't account for that. I got sick a couple days last week. I didn't account for that. I wasn't feeling good. I, I, I couldn't focus. And before that, I had this nagging pain on my neck right? When I was as stiff as a board. I mean, I had my daughters laughing at me because anytime they would call my name, they would like taunt me. They'd be like, hey dad. And I would have to move my entire body just to look at them. Be like, well, what do you want? And then they would start laughing at me. <laughs> but here I am with the stiff neck. And then it went to my back. I have a, a stiff back. And, 
and uh, an aching back. So I'm, I'm getting a mas- uh, I, I've had like three massages since then. Uh, and then I got sick. So I had uh, someone come in with an IV to try to recoup uh, so I can recover much faster. You know, and, and my whole thing is that I can't afford to be sick. And when I say that, it's not just in my health. I, I can't afford my, my relationship at home with my wife to be sick, right? To not be healthy and strong and loving and powerful. I can't afford for my marketing to be sick, which is weak and inconsistent. I can't afford for that to happen. And when we think about that with the intention that I can't afford it, even though some of you have been making the most money ever, have been, have been uh, really just you know living in this life of abundance for a long time, um, we still have to have the, the mindset that we can't afford to be sick. Everything in our lives has to be healthy. Everything in our lives has to be strong. And that requires our intention for my relationship to be strong. I need to make the necessary deposits so it doesn't wither away, so it doesn't get rotted or sickened. And the same thing for my body. I needed to recover faster. And guess what? I'm able to bounce back because mentally I am there. And guess what? I've conditioned my body for many, many years. So if there's sicknesses or illnesses that come my way, I'm not like most. I will not stay in bed for two weeks, three weeks at a time, getting sick multiple times a year. Because I've invested, I've put the necessary deposits to ensure I don't remain sick. And some of you are, are seeing that sickness in your, bu- in your business where it's sporadic. Just like last year where things were sporadic. You, you said you wanted changes, but if you look at a, your marketing strategy, you'll realize it's not as healthy as it should be. Because a healthy business understands that it's marketing 24-7 every day, multiple times a day. Everyone in your sphere must know that you're the authority in that space. But if you just do a random audit on your social media channels, let's just be very specific, you'll realize how unhealthy your marketing is. And yet we still want to hit these big audacious goals that we wrote down in our 12-week target book or in our business planning meeting. And we realize we're, only, we're that far away because we haven't been consistent. We haven't been intentional. There's a lot of things in our life that is sick. It is disease-written. It is ill. So what happens is when, when, when you're in this place of, of feeling ill or sick, all the things that we didn't do are now magnified in our minds. Now it even becomes uh, more, uh, you know, like the obstacles become much bigger now. It, it seems like it, it's unattainable at that point because we haven't been doing the right things and now we are really ill, right? So we're sitting there just thinking about it thinking about the pressures of trying to overcome and achieve our goals. And we're reminded about how really unhealthy our business is at the moment a deal falls through to realize you don't have three or four more deals right behind that. So now the obstacles become bigger and heavier. And you, even, you start ending up feeling worse. So it's so important that we make sure that we can do the right things every day and have that mindset, I can't afford to be sick even though I've made the most money ever. I have the most money in my bank I've ever had. I've, I've had great investments over the years. I have a profitable business. My mindset is I can't afford to be sick. My marketing, I can't afford not to market and put money towards my lead genera- uh, generation elements. I can't, aff- I can't afford not to push the envelope as a businessman, my capacity. So here at a 45 days in, it's so important that we, we take time to assess what we're up to, what we're doing. And it's not to beat ourselves up, but it's to remind ourselves that, yeah, we didn't account for these illnesses. We didn't account for the issues that were going to happen in our relationship. We didn't account for the accidents. We didn't account for the lawsuits. We didn't account for the, but it's okay. I'm going to go back and assess what I wrote down a month and a half ago. Because I envisioned it and it's a real possibility. I just have to overcome this illness. I overcome the illness in my business by just starting marketing today. I'm going to focus and I'm going to stay committed. And these are the things we have to say ourselves. I just have to reassess. If I look at the patterns of the last 45 days, uh, maybe you haven't been eating the way you should in the last 45 days. So you correct that today. Your marketing hasn't been as intentional or as consistent. So you correct that today. You haven't been home at reasonable times making sure you tell your kids and your spouse that you love them and you appreciate them. 
So that starts today. That starts right now, as a matter of fact. You send a text out. You say, I really appreciate you. Thank you for always supporting me. So we start assessing and we start thinking, okay, where am I falling short? And that's the beauty about writing it down is that it's going to become a possibility. And the things that we said that would hinder us from obtaining our, our, our targets are, are there. Like I described it, I get overwhelmed. I want to shut it down at certain times. But how do you overcome those obstacles? I said, I must get back in, in the weeds. This means late nights and weekends. I need to develop my leadership skills to move this ship forward. So how do I do that? Well, I have to wake up early to make sure that I'm listening to something that has to do with my marketing, my sales, my systems, my leadership strategies. If I want to, if I want to hit this brokerage to hit over $1.1 billion next year, I have to be a greater leader. I have to be a greater trainer, which means I have to revamp our training systems, revamp our sales meetings. I have to come in more intentional on these mindset masteries so that hopefully you just get that piece of, uh, that little piece of nugget that you need to go get your three or four more deals here in the next couple of weeks. How will you overcome these obstacles that typically stop you? I will remind myself that I am what I, may, what I am made of. I will journal my thoughts and document this epic journey. I have what it takes. Now I will shift faster. Nothing will stop me. Oh, these are just reminders. Because again, we didn't account for the illness. I didn't account for the, you know, my, my back pain and my neck pain. But this is where we do the course corrections. But it's your intention and your mindset. I can't afford to be sick. But this is in all aspects of your life. If the focus is not in your family right now, this is where you shift the focus. And realize that that is a core reason. That may be a core reason why you can't hit your business goals. Because your family life is all messed up. You're not spending enough time with your kids. You fix that. Now you have more focus and intention on your business. And again, a reminder, why is it absolutely necessary to hit your profit, your, your profit's target? There's a ton riding on the line. It is going to push me to the core as a businessman. In order to hit this big target, it's going to require for me to be a better leader, marketer, salesperson. I will need to increase my effectiveness in systems, technology, and follow-up. The person that I will become will be elite. So we know all these things. We know all these things, but sometimes we just need to remind ourselves that I can't afford to be sick. And that's in all aspects. As I was, you know, I was out Friday all day and I was like, you know, all the things that I haven't done now, now seem to be put this bigger pressure on me. I thought about it a few times, but I, I prioritize other things versus the thing that I committed to here. And I have a big list of items that I needed to accomplish. So as opposed to just dwelling in that, I'm feeling 100%. So I go at 120%. I maximize my efforts because I see now. I got sick because there was a lot of things I wasn't doing and it makes it harder when you're there. My excuses before of why I couldn't do it seem comical now. And that's one thing that, that I got from one of our agents. Uh, you know, he put it into perspective and he said, he said this, I feel that I needed that moment to stop spiraling down a path of victimhood mentally for too long. It keeps, creep, it keeps creeping in. The next one is coming. Um, which means like, you know, sometimes we just think that we're doing everything we can until we really hit an, an issue we didn't account for. So this is where we need to put it back into perspective. And we got to put it back on ourselves that we're still only 45 days in. It's time for us to make those big moves. Like I'm excited for what's to come. And when I really look at everything, I'm, I'm right in line with accomplishing everything that I said. And again, maybe today is just a focus of just taking care of ourselves a little better by consuming the right foods, not putting those high sugary fructose drinks down our throats or those products 
processed products where studies have shown that it affects anxiety and depression. Understand that we, we can't do that voluntarily. Like what I did to my neck, I don't know if I did it voluntarily. I'm sure I could have done a certain things to not throw out my neck for a few days there, for a couple of weeks actually. But there's things that we can handle on a daily basis that we fail to do so. Understand that if, if you're not motivated on a daily basis, if you're not you know, pushing the envelope, if, you're not, if you don't have the energy, if you don't have the vitality, you don't have the, 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 you know, just the, the eagerness to go out and get stuff, it might have to do with what you're consuming. So start taking care better of your body so you can give the best to your business, give the best to your family. But it starts with you first and foremost. So maybe that's where you start assessing, I need to cut away from the sugary drinks, from the fast foods. It's amazing what our body can do and how putting the wrong foods into your body can affect your mental state. So this is the type of things that we have to just continue to assess 45 days in. Have what you've, what you've done over the last 45 days, is that helping your position? This is where we shift because all of us have these big audacious goals that we have to hit. So the mindset is, I can't afford to be sick, which means you have to be intentional about every aspect of your life. Now, I wanted to read a quick quote that um, it just reminded me of. When, when I start about, talk about you know, how poor diet can increase anxiety and depression, it, it, start, it got me thinking about like this book I, I read five years ago. Um, in No, actually, it was back in 2015. It was called The Power of Now of uh, Eckhart Tolle. Um, it was, I tried reading this book a couple of times. It was such a hard read just because I, I, it was, it was so over my head for a long time until I started realizing my own behaviors, until I started recognizing my shortcomings of, of trying to understand myself and human behaviors. But one of the things that he mentioned is, is how our thoughts can, can really stop any type of production, any type of self-love, any, any type of outward love, any type of of, of growth, including in business, right? And he said, all negativity is caused by an, a culmination of psychological time and denial of the present. Unease, anxiety, tension, stress, worry, or all forms of fear are caused by too much future. Meaning we're thinking about what may happen in the future or what may not happen in the future and not enough present. Guilt, Regret, resentment, grievances, sadness, bitterness. You know, those are all symptoms of like depression, right? And all forms of non-forgiveness are caused by too much past. Meaning we're, we're too caught up of what happened before. T too caught up on the history of things. We're triggered by things that, that, you know, happened 10, 15, 20 years ago. And not enough presence. So that goes back to realizing where you're at right now, assessing what can you do today. And that's how we're going to approach the next, you know, 45 days until we, you know, we end this 90 day target. We're not, we're not shooting towards the end of the year yet. We have a short term target that we have to hit. You have it written down. So I need you to do that today. Go back to your business planning meeting. Go back to your 12 week target book. What did you write down? Where do you need to recalibrate? What do you need to assess and change? And let's start doing that today. Remember, you can't afford to be sick regardless of where you're at. I want to thank you for joining me for this episode of Mindset Mastery. I will talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Badass Agents Podcast. Brought to you by AZ and Associates and Do The Work Coaching and Consulting. You can watch this and other episodes by subscribing to our channel on YouTube or by visiting us directly at badassagents.com. And of course, you can listen to this episode and many others on your preferred podcast provider.